I want someone here to explain to me why Nigeria federal government decided to ban Ghana must go. Which Ghana must go do you now? Why is it that in this country, eh, the federal government eh, are trying as much as possible eh, to make sure Nigeria spends Nigeria spend money unnecessarily? When in fact we can avoid spending money, but the federal government is like, oh, that money will not spend now. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria has reportedly banned the use of popular Ghana must go bags by travelers at airport in the country. According to a circular by Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria titled Reprohibition of Usage of Ghana must go, signed by manager airport service, Enoch. Dated November 24th, the ban is particularly for passengers traveling through the country international airport. He said, stated that the SAC was banned by the authority because he has caused the airport huge loss and also damaged the airport convenor belt system. He noted that passengers who wish to use Ghana must go to travel must have the same well packaged in carton or hardcover or rectangular size. Which is Ghana must go to you now? Let me tell you the importance of Ghana must go uh, of Ghana must go in for for travelers when they are traveling. Normally, if you are buying this normal sack by this normal uh, suitcases, only the suitcases alone weigh close to like five kg. Or some even weigh close to like 10 kg. And if you are traveling, they will tell you per traveler, you are not supposed to carry anything bigger than 23 kg. Suitcases already weigh 5 kg. How many kg remain for you to pack stuff, food, clothes, things inside that bag? It remains, let me say, the suitcase already weigh, weigh 5 kg. It remains. Uh, 20, no, it, it remains like a 18 kg. So, it's not really too much. Ghana must go weigh nothing. Weigh nothing even close to 1 kg. Below 1 kg. So, you still have extra 4 kg of storage. So, me, I usually advise anybody that is traveling international, do not bother. Eh? Do not bother carrying this you these fancy suitcases if you want to pack food. Except if you have the money, then you can pay for extra luggages. Use Ghana must go. They are very very light, no weight. You still have extra storage space. Use Ghana must go. Is what I usually advise people. Now they are not bank Ghana must go. Okay, you know what? What we'll be doing. We'll be looking for ordinary material like this, eh? Ordinary material like this. Taking it to the tailor, to, for the tailor to sew it to a rectangular shape. Sew it to a rectangular shape and we we'll pack stuff inside with a zip. I think that is what we should be doing now. Since they're not banned, Ghana must go at the okay. We'll devise another means. We'll devise another means of carrying Ghana must go. It's because Ghana must go usually looks like this. The same style. The same color. You know what? This is what they say as Ghana must go. Let us rebrand it. Let it be completely black. Let the black be let the bar be completely black. I bet you they will accept it. So they shouldn't be designing it like this again. Hmm? We're gonna let Nigeria breathe. Let us breathe. Because the people usually use Ghana must go as still Nigerians, not these uh, foreigners. Now we see they use Ghana must go. We don't want to spend money. We have a way of adverting that spending of money. But they say, like, like, oh, that money, you now must still spend that. What is it? Allow us to breathe. Hmm? Allow us to breathe. Allow us to devise a means to stop spending too much money. But the federal government say, like, like, we must spend that money. With the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, get to do with Ghana must go. What is the link between it? They need to explain further to tell us the losses they are in, uh, 
in curing so that we will understand uh, more better their claim. But right now, Abba, let us breathe a bit. Huh? Skepta, Whiskey, good friend. For those of you who have listened to this, uh, who have heard this song, uh, bad man, see, I need your love. See, I need your love. Bad energy, you see, far away. Well, Skepta is calling on Portable because Portable is currently in UK, tour in the UK, and uh, recently he was even interviewed by one Nigeria radio personality who is based in UK. You know, Skepta is calling on Portable for a studio time. And if I am Portable, I will completely leave whatever I am doing and run to that studio with, with uh, Skepta. Skepta is a big deal in UK. Really, really big deal in UK. Well respected. Well respected rapper. He said it's like it's, it's like a pioneer in the street. What he has done. And now he's reaching out to Portable. Man, Portable, grab this opportunity. You understand? Grab it and run with it. We fear enter studio, no verse. They say you are in Newcastle. M1, M25, no miss road. Don't make person where Sabi Road, use you clear road. Men's day here. Hmm? Portable, my bin, no verse. We fear enter studio. Enjoy. Because. They call you if not me, if not me be you portable for them ever reach the ever before I even finish that video because this will be another new I don't know, it, it can be good. You know, portable is all about looking for money. You know, the only thing he has in his mind is that whenever I meet these big big artists, now for them to give her money. Because if you listen to the to the recent interview, he was talking about how whiskey gave him uh, money, how the video gave him money, how other artists gave him money. Sometimes it's not all about money. Eh? You still need to make some cool friends in the industry. You know, go with the flow. Now, Skepta, because of your way of speaking, because of what? Now, God knows why Skepta decided to be drawn to you. So if not, maybe you are, I will grab a sharp sharp. I will grab a sharp sharp. Run with it. Portable, no waste time. Run. Grab it and run with it. It's not easy for Skepta to call on somebody, made a do record. Skepta is not a small boy. He's a big wit. So run with it. It's portable. Stop wasting goddamn time. So let's discuss something that is off key. Off key. Totally off key. But uh, I kind of like pick interest on this particular matter because uh, I watched it and uh, I saw the news. Um, while well, I decided to bring it here so that we can just dance around it. Here's a video from TMZ. It shows a man in this uh, in in the plane first class teasing one of the greatest boxer in history. Mike Tyson. Teasing Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was sitting in front of him and he was just by the back, behind him. He was teasing Mike Tyson. I don't know. Maybe the guy was high or was crazy. Maybe no, no, say Mike Tyson, if he used one blow killer. He was teasing him and Mike Tyson, he did something to Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson was really happy. My, Mike Tyson really messed the guy up. Messed the guy up real good. Now, Mike Tyson is facing some charges. This, this guy is demanding for 450,000 US dollars. 450,000 US dollars. According to the news, they say back in 2022, Tyson was caught on camera beating up a passenger. His name is Melvins. The man says his life has been hard since the incident and has to deal with several headache and neck pain and is still suffering with the effect of the assault to this day. 
The guy's lawyer also said he lost several jobs because of the incident and can't pay for ongoing medical care. The guy lawyer say also, okay, the guy, uh, Tyson lawyer say that this is just an attempt. This is just an attempted shakedown. He said, I have received a shakedown letter related to some instigator harassment of Mike a year ago and the aftermath there will be no shakedown payment so looking at that video you saw how the guy was acting towards Mike Tyson see to cut everything short if I was Mike Tyson that beat me my Tyson if I wasn't enough I for bitter man Kai bitter man but it's just that in that part of the world, eh, the guy can simply win and get money from my Tyson. That is how it is. Somebody can tease you while you are sitting down respectfully. Somebody can come behind you to tease your life, make fun of you, and the law said you shouldn't do anything. Man, to help with that law, I could beat you eh, if I'm my Tyson. Well, he actually did, though, and the man is not demanding for 450,000 US dollars. You want to make the man pay or not?